Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is Monday, and don't forget, we will be having our live stream tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern. Hope you guys tune in. We've got all kinds of news and stuff that's going on, even though that this is the dead time. Uh, things are getting hot, like really, really hot right now. Um, interesting piece here because, you know, we're cowboy fans and we have all kinds of drama. Okay. You know, there's so much stuff that's going on with the Cowboys because we got CD lamb who hasn't gotten his contract, of course, and the speculation of, you know, will he be in training camp? Will they get this thing done sooner? We've seen all kinds of stuff from stay tuned. There's going to be some movement to CD lambs getting traded. And of course we have Mike McCarthy, who I pointed out before, has had the best run since the 90s of any coach. Three years, 12 and 5 in a row. It has been unbelievable. Uh, uh, you know, and, and here it is. He's on the hot seat. And we literally have Bill Belichick basically saying, I'd like to kind of stick it to Robert Kraft and work with the Joneses. Now, we don't know what that means. Um, what We don't know what that means at all. But... You know, it is what it is. Um, maybe this is just, you know, let me just stir some stuff up. Or, you know, maybe, you know, it maybe was said lightheartedly because I didn't actually see the interview. Um, I would definitely like to see it. So, Mike Tomlin, another coach who seemingly had worn out his welcome. Mike Tomlin, of course, Steelers coach who has been there for a long time, won a Super Bowl and stuff. But the team, it's seeming like, okay, it's kind of hard to continue going where they're going. You know, after Ben Roethlisberger uh, retired, it, it's been kind of terrible for them as far as the quarterback situation. And it seemed like maybe Mike Tomlin, that it was time for him to do like an Andy Reid and go elsewhere to kind of start it over and to get things going. Um but apparently that's not going to happen because I see a, a tweet by Clarence Hill Jr. Tomlin ain't going nowhere. Now do Mike McCarthy. Um, Mike Tomlin has been signed to a three-year contract, you know, getting stability, of course, with that. No, ter uh, no details on exactly how much it is. But, you know, this is how other teams do things. Um, I kind of look at it where a lot of people will say, you know, Mike McCarthy, he's a bum, get rid of him. But you can't argue with what he's been able to do with Dak Prescott. Do I have questions about Mike McCarthy? Oh, my, yes, I, I do. Um, I, I'm still concerned about some of his clock management issues, um, about motivating the players, because that seems to be the problem that we have uh, with the Cowboys is, are they going to perform in the playoffs? We've been great in the regular season and things. And, you know, we've been good in spots. We've had some games where the defense played pretty good and the offense didn't really follow. Or we've had games where the defense has just kind of started out poorly and, you know, just it all goes downhill. If we could ever turn this stuff around to where it is really, really right, it would be fantastic. Um, I just don't even know what to say on that one, but congratulations to Mike Tomlin for getting his deal. Um, I would really like to see, um, the Cowboys start to make some moves here. If for no other reason, just to make us all feel better. Um, we'll definitely be talking about this more tonight and I appreciate you guys and I will see you nine o'clock Eastern peace out.